Hi, I'm Alex Rowley and I'm one of the directors here at Wavemaker. We focus on digital skills for the future and digital inclusion. We predominantly engage with a lot of young people, promoting any skills that we see in emerging technologies around 3D printing, digital design, coding and programming. And we also engage with a wider cohort around just core digital skills. So for people who've never had an opportunity like you and I may have had using a smartphone or a tablet. So we're just bringing them up to spec and getting them in, integrated into the digital world. We've seen the impact of what we can do and got us thinking actually, we're only having this impact when we're face to face in this short little bubble of time and we wanted to expand on that. We wanted a way to reach out and what better way than through the web. So we wanted to create a platform in which we could almost do what we do in our face-to-face, -face, but at any time, any, anywhere, really, and at the convenience of the learner. Immediately, as soon as we saw this opportunity, we realized this idea that we've long had in the back of our heads, just sitting there sort of on the back burner, it was an avenue in which to get it out there, to start it at least, and to begin the process. Staffs Uni, well-renowned in the area, great team, they do great things, they excel at all the digital offerings they do, so who else to get involved with, really? So they bought us a new way of thinking, a soundboard, another, another group, a think tank almost, of people. So you had, obviously we had Mark as the project lead, who was fantastic and on the ball, but we had an academic lead as well with Fiona, who brought that technical expertise around sort of policies and governance on the web technologies that, you know, I've got a fundamental understanding, but not to the level that, that she's got. And then of course, we were fortunate to have a graduate, an, em an employee of our own, who was brought in place as a dedicated person to take lead on this role, working alongside us. So it was really exciting to kickstart what we were doing and to, to get it off the ground. I mean, people might say, well, why didn't you do it in the first place? Well, there's an element of risk involved. Money is potentially tight at times, and so is staff time. So this minimized any of that risk. It allowed us to pilot it, it allowed us to try it. It allowed us to analyze it really and evaluate and realize, yes, it has potential to move forward. As a result of all of this, we kept our university graduate on uh, for a further three months to help us continue with the project. Staffordshire County Council have allowed us an avenue, a conversation starter really, if you like, that they can easily get us communicating with schools to get this out there and piloting. And we're really looking forward to getting a wider audience. We were fortunate to have a grant from the council, which allowed us to kickstart the project in terms of equipment. So of course we had an intern who was brought in we were allowed to buy a laptop, which was great for him to use. We also bought a few other bits of office equipment. So in terms of doing designs, we had a printer so we could print them out and have a sort of a, a proper mood board, if you like, and think about what we were doing. So it was really instrumental to the design process and helped us get a clear vision. We also had money to put towards a dedicated developer. So we appointed a firm in Stafford uh, by the name of App House who were our back-end developer and they helped really bring that additional expertise to ensuring all the correct technologies were used and it was interactive and it, it just all worked. It's all magic in a way to me, um, but yeah, without all of that, we wouldn't have got anywhere. It's our mission to really engage with digital and this will allow that to, to grow. And yes, at the moment we are pitching it at Stoke-on-Trent and Staffordshire, but if it is successful, if it's well received, there's no reason why it can't go wider, you know, national, maybe international, who knows. I would absolutely recommend the Staffordshire Digital Innovation Partnership to anyone. We've had nothing but great results and it's been an amazing, well, it's been a year now, actually, because we still, we still chat with Mark. He still touches base with us. Anyone who's got that idea, that desire, that itch to get something done, yeah, get involved, apply. You don't know, you might be successful like we were and get that itch scratched. It's really good.